What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have a mail day. So this one is gonna be a little bit of a smaller mail day, unfortunately. I only have four packages here. I wanted this one to be a really massive mail day. Unfortunately, there are a couple local guys here in the area who I've made deals with, I haven't been able to meet up with yet. And then again, there are a couple packages just sitting at the post office that they just have not put in my PO box yet. So it's very, very frustrating. Uh, there's been packages at the uh, my local post office since yesterday at about 5 a.m. and they just haven't picked it up and put it in my PO box. So uh, a couple of these I did actually pick up from the post office today, uh, but for whatever reason, there's some that are just sitting there that they have not delivered yet. So pretty unfortunate, but I think the plan actually is tomorrow. Uh, I'm planning on going back to Louisville Sports Card, so I was there earlier today as well, uh, which today is Friday the 8th, same day that this video will, will release. I wanted to rip a couple packs of Prism Basketball, so not planning on doing an entire box of Prism Basketball. I think it is just way, way overpriced. Prism Football is a million, a million times better, so not planning on doing an entire box, but I would like to rip a couple of hobby packs. So. I think the plan tomorrow is uh, to come back with another mail day video and rip a couple Prism Hobby Packs on camera. So hopefully tomorrow's video will be pretty good. And then I'm also going to a, sh a local show here in the area in Louisville, Kentucky tomorrow as well. So that footage uh, will likely be up the following day on Sunday. So uh, I do have a couple more exciting, uh, hopefully pretty good videos coming out the next couple days as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this mail day. I don't believe we have a giveaway uh, at the moment. So um, I posted last week on Instagram that I was buying cards in between like the $50 to $150 range. So I wanna buy very, very heavy for the mystery packs on the Card Shop Live, as well as the uh, fire packs for the National. So I'm buying very, very heavy at the moment. I am still buying, uh, but I am being very, very picky. I want the stuff that goes in my mystery packs or fire packs to be you know, extremely, extremely high quality, big names uh, that people want. And I had countless people, you know, DM me asking what I was buying, whether it was raw or slabbed. I'm buying both, can be raw or PSA 10s or SGC 10s, so raw or graded. Uh, but I will say I am not paying 100% of eBay. So please, if you're gonna contact me with price, with uh, cards, with prices, send pictures and prices. Um, and then, you know, again, once if I look it up and you're asking 100% of eBay, I'm just not gonna do it. So uh, probably about 70 to 80% of eBay. So just throwing that out there. Uh, and now let's go ahead and get into these packages. Uh, should have some pretty exciting pickups here. So we'll go ahead and start here. Shout out to everyone that I did make deals with. Uh, very, very easy deals with everyone for the most part. So let's see what we have as our first pickup. Okay, so got a little uh, T-Law and that one uh, is a mosaic silver and I believe there's another one in here as well. So we've got a T-Law mosaic silver and a Ray Allen hoops auto. So I believe this one is going to go in those national fire packs and this one will be in the mystery packs on the card shop live. This one will probably, probably be bundled up with another card. I don't think the value is quite there. I usually like for the floor on those mystery packs to be around the $40 range. I think this one is slightly under that. So this one will probably be bundled with another card. So first two pickups, we've got a T-Law Silver and a Ray Allen Hoops Auto. Uh, love Ray Allen's Auto, one of the best autos in the game, in my opinion. So that does it for the first uh, package, first pickup. We'll go ahead and get into the next one here. And if you guys are interested in selling me any cards, the best way, definitely the best way to hit me up is on Instagram, 502 Frank. Uh, and okay, so this one will go in those next, uh, the mystery packs on the card shop live as well, which by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, that is gonna be going forward, that is every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so this one is gonna be a Wander Franco rookie card out of tops. This, is, this one is the, um, the 35th anniversary and it is numbered, so a numbered, Rookie Wander card numbered to 299. You can see that there on the back. So can't go wrong with a numbered 
rookie wander so i thought that one would be a nice one for the mystery packs so again that's the fun thing about the mystery packs uh you know the fire packs are just strictly basketball mystery packs are a lot of fun to put together because it's it's literally everything baseball basketball football f1 soccer so a lot of fun for me to put together and people seem to really be enjoying those uh so i do plan on uh getting bigger and better with uh you know the the more more times i go live on there so this one i'm, I'm still you know making pickups you know i'm gonna the card the local show tomorrow on saturday i do plan on making the last few pickups for this upcoming series on sunday uh the goal right now though is actually to up it from 20 to 25 and i want to do a really big chase mystery box so the the last few series i've had three chase cards i want to keep the three three chase cards but also do like a big big mystery chase box so i feel like that should be that could be a lot of fun so we'll see how that ends up playing out again still putting that together uh you know as we speak so next pickup let's see what we have here this one does feel graded and it feels, oh, got another one. Almost threw another card away there. Uh, thank you, 502 Frank. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. And we got a Davis Mills. So thought this was a very good looking card. Davis Mills, uh, for whatever reason, been kind of high on him lately. Got the card you see in the background, got the Contenders Optic Cracked Ice Auto. So been kind of high on him. Definitely think he uh, is kind of an under the radar rookie quarterback from this past year. So we'll see, definitely some potential there, but um, an Illusions Auto numbered to 199. So very nice one there. Uh, value on that's probably around like 40 to 50 bucks. So not too bad. And then thank you for buying from me. I really appreciate it. All right, well, shout out to this uh, seller. Appreciate the deal. And this one is going to go in the National Fire Packs. We picked up a PSA 10 Jason Tatum Select Rookie. Value on these is about 120 to 140. So nice pickup there. Someone will definitely be happy with that one. So, um, I do have, I will say, I do have most of the big chase cards. You know, there's, I have plenty of cards right now that are around, I think the, the top chase card is probably going to be in between like $1,500 to $2,000 in that, in the National Fire Pack series. And I have plenty that are between $100 to $500. Uh, so the, really the bulk of what I need now is between the $50 to $100 range. Um, so there is still going to be plenty of cards where you are going to make a little bit of money. Um, on those national fire packs so uh it's easily easily gonna be the best repack product that i've ever done oh and what is this so re resealable uh bag here let's see what we have this is gonna be the last uh pickup for this video's mail day again i do hopefully i'm able to you know meet up with those local uh people and get a few more packages in either today or tomorrow and i can come back again uh with a, a, a mail day tomorrow hopefully a little bit bigger um so we'll see see how that plays out really kind of unexpected these days with the post office um or unpredictable i should say and our last pickup oh okay so a couple of nice ones here this one we picked up a luca I believe this one is out of T-Mall, if I can get that tape out of the way. I can't remember the exact, or no, this one's not out of T-Mall. So when I was looking at comps, uh, the best comparison was um, looking at the T-Mall because it was, couldn't find any. This one's numbered at 35, couldn't find any. I, I don't think I could find any comps exactly at 35, uh, but there were some T-Mall that were numbered to like 15 or 25. So I kind of went off that. Um, this one, it's probably gonna be another bundle deal. I don't think the value on this is quite there to throw it in a mystery pack by itself. So this one's probably gonna be on the mystery packs. Maybe even, I don't know, maybe bundle the Luke and the T-Law. That wouldn't be bad at all right there. Um, and then this one, I am gonna save for the National Fire Packs. We got a Magic Obsidian Auto. This one is actually pretty short print. Yeah, there it is. So three of 15. So again, guys, I am <laughs> the National Fire Packs. Uh, I am working on the best repack I have ever put together. And honestly, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hundred packs at a hundred dollars per pack. In my opinion, it, it should be one of, if not the best repacks ever made for a hundred dollars or less. I mean, you know, you 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 guys see what, what you can expect out of there. Ray Allen, Jason Tatum, Magic Johnson. So it is gonna be absolutely incredible. Very, very excited for it. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, guys. Wasn't quite the mail day I was hoping for, but we still got some really, really quality pickups. So uh, this should kind of give you guys an idea of what I am picking up. If you if you guys wanna hit me up and try to make a deal, this is the kind of stuff I'm picking up. Davis Mills, Trevor Lawrence, Luca, uh, Wander. So big names like these. Um, so yeah, gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.